Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. Tonight is Sunday and we are eating out at Ruby Tuesdays on a date. Just me and Daddy. That's right. Yeah, my parents are in town and they're leaving Tuesday, Tuesday. I think, Tuesday morning. So we were able to sneak in a date night. And this is our lovely <laughs> dessert. Look how pretty the sky is on the way home from our date night. It's perfect, gorgeous. Perfect view to end our date night. <laughs> Monday for dinner, we are having chicken and dumplings. And that's what we have for leftovers. One biscuit. <laughs> and tonight's dessert is a Reese poke cake. We didn't have Reese peanut butter cups for the top, so we did peanut butter and, Reese and uh, chocolate chips on top. Tonight is Taco Tuesday. So we have some tortillas and ground beef and lettuce and refried beans and corn and black beans and cheese and sour cream and taco shells and tomatoes and I think that's it. What? The only leftovers we have was a little bit of taco meat. So I think for leftover night I'm going to turn that into something. I'm not sure. Um, and this is, what is today? This is Tuesday night dessert. The Reese's Poke Cake. So a Wednesday night dessert is homemade pizza. We have, um, this is just pepperoni and cheese. We have a failed, I homemade this dough. Um, and I did not do a very good job. But anyway, this is barbecue chicken. This is gluten-free barbecue chicken. And this was um, just one of those canned rolls. Thank goodness I had that outside because this dough was supposed to be for two pizzas and I just didn't end up doing well. But um, I had that outside and that was to the rescue, yeah. thankfully. And for our Wednesday night dessert, I'm going to try to get them to finish off this cake. It's taken us three nights, but it's almost done. It's so good, though. Tonight is Thursday, and we're having mini meatloafs with corn and some homemade rolls and some mashed potatoes, and we have applesauce. So for our leftover little meatloafs, I made 24, and there's seven left. They're in the other room. There's a little bit of corn left out of two cans. Some rolls left, and the mashed potatoes were not very good, so no one really ate them. <laughs> it's Friday night, and we're having a chicken pot pie, which I'll show you in a minute how I put it together. Um, just a can of fruit cocktail and applesauce. To make the chicken pot pie, I started with these two cooked chicken breasts that I'd cooked the other day for this meal specifically. I diced the chicken into bite-sized pieces and I preheated the oven on 350. I put some butter in a pan along with a can of cream of chicken soup. I added a bag of frozen mixed vegetables that I had in the freezer. It was green beans, peas, and carrots, and corn. Um, and then I added about a half a cup of milk. I didn't measure. And then when that was done, I added the cooked chicken. and I ended up dropping a couple pieces on the ground. <laughs> um, when all that was added, I just gave it a really good stir to get it all mixed up. And then I looked in my spice cabinet to see what I could put in there, and I found poultry seasoning, so I put some of that in there, again, not measuring. And then I added some salt and some pepper to taste, and it gave that a big mix. for a couple minutes and warm up and then I sprayed my pie pan and I had these pie crust thawing on the counter for a little bit so I spread the bottom one out and when it was all pinched and formed to the side I added the filling and tried to pinch it together, which I have never been successful at. I do not make pretty pies. Um, I cut a heart shape in the top to vent it, and then I brushed the top with melted butter so it would get a nice golden brown crust when it baked in the oven. I baked it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes.
I think there's a scoop of applesauce left and not much of this. And our Thursday dessert is what? Popcorn with chocolate drizzle and it's Friday. Oh, <laughs> it is Friday. Tonight is Saturday, final no. night of our dinners. And we are having mac and cheese, Fine. Meatballs. barbecue meatballs, and broccoli. <gasps> and that's it. And Hayden's stuck in there. He's trying to do a 24 hour challenge in that room. The girls were too, but it didn't last very long. But I'm going to sleep in the we have quite a bit of leftovers tonight of mac and cheese and meatballs, not that much broccoli. So bye. Bye. <laughs> Hebe, say stay tuned for some extra footage that we didn't get to put into our vlogs this week. So we're putting it on the end of this video. Say stay tuned. Stay tuned. Good job. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. That's dangerous. What? A bull. I'm sitting here holding him and she is adamant about getting up on this couch and there is like no room. She's got to sit here with mama, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now Evie's sitting with daddy. She yep. sat with Haley for a little bit at dinner. Mm. And mm. didn't eat her dinner at all. And now look what she's got. A snack. Oh, it's not. Imagine that. Right. Hey, sweet girl. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.